this is a heading back the way I came heading back to Rayong City this is the beach road along here this stretch of road hangs a left around that turn and then up that hill and over and then back that way again to Bonpei and then this way this road will go about I don't know 12 kilometers along here it's nothing but beautiful pines and some little roadside eateries and places to relax lots of uh, marked car park in here because on the weekends this place will be busy but busy on this beach road is a lot different than saying busy along Pacific Coast Highway beach road or riding down toward Hatteras or Duck or Kitty Hawk that's busy this is you know it's okay this is and you see these bike lanes this bike lane goes all the way back to Bonpei about six kilometers back there and then from Bonpei to where I was in May Pim and beyond that in uh, Paknam Prase there's bike lanes or big berms as wide as these parking spaces on many of the roads now that's not the case uniformly in Thailand but you see bike lanes painted and marked on all kinds of country roads uh, it's when you get into town things can get squirrely you'll have a, a road as wide as that one lane there that's two lanes weaving through a tight commercial area with all kinds of street side shops walking into side and pedestrians and motorcycle and scooter riders and those things there are three wheel motorcycles in terms with a canopy built on top and that's a uh, less a few Thai families version of a station wagon if you don't have that you might take your whole family off in the morning on a motorcycle. I've seen five people on a motorcycle with an infant in one of the riders' hands and another of the small children standing on the People do what they have to do to take care of their family. That's it. Anyway, yeah, in the towns when you have these little soy, they call them soy, S-O-I. It basically translates to alleyway, but a soy can be more than an alleyway. It can be a road this big. It's just called soy, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole thing on cycling in Thailand. Details, a commentary, uh, with some visuals added eventually. That's one of my upcoming ideas. Because it is... It's not unique. I mean, it's like this all over Southeast Asia and South Asia. India's just as wild and as Thailand in that regard. But because there's so many scooters and three-wheel vehicles like that one, Thai drivers are much more tuned into the fact that they're on the road. So they don't consider a guy on a bike any different than a person on a scooter and the driving protocol takes into account scooters needs because that driver in a truck or car might also be on a scooter going off you know to the local market for something so they know you know like it's kind of you got to give these riders a margin and the scooter riders on the other hand they'll take whatever margin there is I've had guys passing me doing better than 80 kph on a scooter in thick traffic and they'll pass within three inches of my mirrors on either side of my car and they'll pass on either side in a lane, it doesn't matter. They'll pass you going the wrong way in a lane 
you know, it, it, it's all here. And I'll explain some of the dynamics that account for why riders will be in your lane going the wrong way. And there is a reason. And it's kind of a wake up when you first get here, but after a while you just go, well, yeah, I understand why that's going on. Anyway, back to Rayong City and eventually back home. This is a typical little relaxation point. You sit out there and get served food and beverage. Places over here probably make it and carry it across the street. It's very typical. You see some of that along here. People in Bangkok or wherever they'll own one of these and come down here on the weekend. I can't imagine a place like that is full of tenants under normal circumstances. This is the middle of kind of nowhere almost. Well, we're on the outskirts outskirts of nowhere. Heading that way. Follow the blue road. Still on the same road. Lots and lots of little places like this, but hardly anything's happening because of the travel restrictions Thailand has us. Virtually no tourism. It's a little bit. You see uh, an awful lot of stained and uninteresting architecture like this and it's all over Thailand it's a motif that was prevalent I don't know how old this is 30 40 years ago new construction architectural styling shows uh, the more depth hand on the design table but it's just Part of what I call the aesthetics of the ugly. If you don't have a sense of the aesthetics of the ugly, then Thailand might just strike you as a ramshackle dump. It's not. I mean, there's some really beautiful, ultra modern, state of the world stuff going on in this country, but the ladies selling bananas and making smoothies or business. There's a lot of business like that. You see these little roadside shrines quite common here. You can see there's actual offerings been made recently. Frequently you see a glass of or a soda pop bottle full of sweet red stuff. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can buy it like that. I guess you can. For some reason, the red juice is significant. You see it at all these little shrines. I don't know what this one commemorates. Maybe a... Uh, if I could read Thai, I could read that sign and tell you it could be I don't know if somebody got wiped out here. Who knows? So I am trying a little back road detour to avoid being on one of the major highways in Thailand, even though I've been on that highway plenty of times and there's a huge wide berm and, and it's plenty safe to ride on, but uh, there's a zillion cars, not so much today probably, but you know, it's a major highway from leading all the way from Bangkok all the way to Cambodia. Uh, 
So anyway, I thought I'd try this back road and it's taken me through this little village, which is back behind me. And it leads up to the entrance to a, a Wat, a Thai temple, as you can see. That's the entrance. Over there is a building where they're gonna burn the bodies. That's what that's for. So we're gonna weave through this Wat ground. This is not unusual. A road will lead right through the grounds of a temple. And it's gonna take me to that highway. But then I've only got a few hundred meters to go before I'm gonna try another little detour that will take me around a major junction between that highway and another highway coming down from Pattaya. It's a big junction. Uh, and going in this direction is not a problem because I'm gonna stay left. But going the other way, coming from Highway 3 to that junction, it it's dangerous. So I've been looking for a way to get around that and this is where I'm heading now to test it. to this highway, which is an even more important road. That road is the one that'll go all the way to where I went. If you want to ride on it, you can ride on this road all the way to Cambodia if you want. And if you go this way, it'll take you to Bangkok. But it's a long ride, about 200K from here. Now I've entered the city of Rayong, capital city of Rayong province. And I stopped at a wonderful coffee shop. Unfortunately, the owner was in Bangkok today, so it was closed. This bridge here is guarded over by about 10 elephants on pedestals able to see them. It's considered great good luck in China with an elephant. They call the elephant beast Chong, C-H-A-N-G. Anyway, I'm going to find myself a different coffee shop and uh, take a break. This is a little size Dodging a rainstorm here. I have about 25k left. Not too far. Lots of sections of road here. 
along the coast lying under standing water. Sometimes it's not standing water, it's got a current going from this direction four or five inches sometimes. This is kind of minor. Nearing home. Can't imagine that this land is going to go undeveloped in this province for too much longer. People making a living farming cassava. A whole field like this will be planted with cassava. It's all over this province. It's a major crop and it seems to be easy to produce. Anyway. Got little uh, mythical creatures as lampshades. Those hills over there are fun to ride around in. It's a test for an old man's legs, though. But I can still do it. This is the beach road. It goes all the way to Rayong City, pretty much. You just start here and head down the coast. It's all right. Next time, you ought to come along with me. Take you up there.